Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for May 2024. I'm gonna pull a seven card spread, see who pops up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you, whether it's a new person heading their way or a returning lover, or someone that you're already currently connecting to and you just wanting to make certain that your connection is going to grow stronger and stronger in May and not risk you know, any unfortunate events that could challenge the two of you whichever your status is at the moment virgo i will try my very best to see who you're connecting to this month what your story is with this person how your connection will play out if there's anything that they're hiding whether you can trust this person or not with the seven of swords right here um, and go from there all right i get pretty nosy in these readings so let's begin spirit please tap into the energy of virgo today sun moon rising and venus placements Who's heading towards Virgo this month? What can Virgo expect? Virgo is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today, as long as what comes through is for Virgo's highest and greatest good. Virgo, what do we have for Virgo today? Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my vivacious Virgos. All right, the person heading towards you this month, how will they feel about you? We have the page of wands. Could be flirty texting coming from this person. Someone's going to be feeling very flirty with you. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sag, or just someone that wants to be playful with you. Their intentions, the Seven of Swords. Ooh, what's up with that? They're holding back some information, Virgo. They intend to hold back some things that you may want to know about um, and just keep things lighthearted with you. We'll see. I'll clarify that. Their behavior towards you this month, the chariot, major for cancer, your feelings towards this person, the eight of swords, looking like you're going to feel confused about what this person's hiding from you. Because it does look like in May, you got someone hiding important information from you, not telling you the truth about something, whether it's good stuff or not so good stuff. We will see, but I am getting that you're acknowledging in May that something is not adding up and you want to find out. That Virgo in you is that natural born investigator. Okay. What's your challenge this month? The 10 of wands, fire energy, and your potential monthly outcome. Page of Pentacles. You got a big old smile on your face right here. You're receiving something and it's making you happy. For some, you could be getting increased uh, money from your job or a business that you're running. What's your advice? Temperance, major for Sagittarius. Your advice is to be patient with confronting somebody until you actually have the facts is what I'm getting. Because I'm strongly getting that in May, I have a Virgo that's like, what's this person hiding? I'm on to you, buddy. What are you hiding from me? And you may be tempted to sabotage a connection, Eight of Swords, this month by trying to call them out on something without actually having the information. Okay? We will see. And for those of you who are in no contact with someone at this time, I feel like the more you go without talking to this person, the more your thoughts fill with things that don't even make sense to your relationship, but it's the only thing you can hold on to right now without getting anything from this person. All right, we will see. What's the overall energy that supports your love life this month? The Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. So with your overall energy and love being the Two of Cups, it's telling me that in May, you're connecting with a very important person, someone that you were supposed to meet to fulfill a spiritual contract. Doesn't mean you're supposed to be with this person for the rest of your life, and it doesn't mean you're not. But it is showing me a major lesson between you and another person. And I feel like that lesson may be tied into how to have faith, have trust in a situation, or someone's learning a lesson about what withholding information could really do to sabotage a potentially good relationship. Okay, we will see. But it's being influenced by the Empress, which is a lot of love, a lot of care for the relationship, but someone may be not respecting it this month and may be inadvertently sabotaging their connection. And it feels like it may be the both of you. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see. Now, don't take any messages that don't resonate with you. Okay, Virgo, never give your power away to tarot cards. So let's clarify your person's feelings. 
I open up the deck to the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Two of Cups, clarifying this person's feelings, tells me that they're acknowledging that they feel a strong soulmate connection with you. Um, they feel like you are someone that they were drawn to, that they feel emotionally connected to. If you're in no contact with each other right now, the Six of Cups is telling me that they miss you, um, feeling nostalgic about you. And if you are in daily communication and this no contact has not happened to your relationship yet, this person's feeling like you are someone that they may have had a past life with, Six of Cups. But Two of Cups plus Six of Cups equals the Eight of Cups. This person may fear telling you the truth might lead to you walking away from them so they keep it close to their chest. We will see. Let's clarify. Why is the Page of Wands how this person feels about Virgo? They want to be playful with you. They want to be flirty. So I feel like communication is here, but the communication that is being received and given is not clear communication on what's going on when someone's not around. Why the Page of Wands? Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Someone is feeling like um, someone's not investing in the situation the way that they were expecting someone to invest in the situation. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is what someone's been trying to invest in, not producing the results that they were hoping for. Kind of like, um, all right, so the Seven of Pentacles in the upright Virgo is planting new seeds and wanting those seeds to sprout abundance, like flowers, fruit, vegetables. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is watering weeds. It's like, I did all that work and I got weeds. You know, what am I gonna do with weeds? You know, feeling like you wasted your time and energy. So this person's feeling like they wanna be flirty with you in the month of May, but they feel like their investments is not producing the results that they're wanting, not realizing that it's because of withholding information. I feel like I have a Virgo in May that might start to tense up and start to retract and start to, you know, not be yourself anymore because you feel like you need to protect yourself because you feel like there's something going on with this person where you don't feel like you can just be vulnerable with them anymore. It's like the Virgo I have in this reading today would want to be emotionally open with this person, but you're feeling like this person's giving you the read that's making you feel like you have to have your reservations about the situation, which means that you're, you're gonna struggle with being your authentic self with this person because you feel like it's your natural protection to protect your info. You're, you're matching the energy is pretty much what I'm getting off of this Virgo in May. You got someone flirting with you, but you feel like their flirtation is compensating for something that they don't want to tell you. What that is, we will find out in a moment. After I clarify your feelings, I'm going to get their intentions and find out why that Seven of Swords is there. I'm also getting, for some of you, someone avoids confrontation. I've been getting that a lot today. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. For some of you Virgos, in May, you might call somebody out on something and you might question what they're up to when your back is turned, looking away. If they're trying to like take from you energetically, take your trust, you might call them out and they might close off. You know, you see how you're mirroring this person's body language? So I feel like in May, someone's trying to be flirty with you. You care about each other, two of cups, but because they're withholding information or just being kind of sneaky about something, seven of swords, your natural response is to now also withhold information like they are with you, and now we're not getting anywhere because two people are very closed off with each other. And there's a temptation to like call someone out even further, but they're saying that that might backfire even more. So they're wanting you to get more information first. Give me another card on how this person feels about Virgo. I hope I'm making sense here. the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress. So this person feels like you are just a very wonderful person, that you are so kind-hearted, caring, nurturing. You just represent everything that someone would want in a partner with that Empress, because the Empress is four queens in one person, regardless of your gender. This person feels like they have to like, you know, be a bit cautious about the situation though with that Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify your feelings. You're feeling confused. The Eight of Swords is the energy of feeling like you're stuck in a mental prison where all you have is your thoughts and your thoughts are just, you know, not clear right now on the situation because this person's not giving you information to work with. They're not telling you what they want 
from you or anything. Why the Eight of Swords? Six of Swords. For some of you, you guys had an argument and you had to pull away, but you still feel attached to the situation, unable to move forward. You're still curious about them, Page of Swords. Um, and then I have Temperance right here. You're trying to be patient about the situation. And then there's the Chariot and the Queen of Wands, and we have the Chariot right here. So let's clarify this person's intentions. Why the Seven of Swords? The Seven of Swords. Look at that. Double sevens. Double sevens can mean something to you. And the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands as intentions is to keep your walls up. To keep your walls up because you've been hurt before. Many times perhaps. And it connects with the Seven of Swords. So not only does this person intend to keep their walls up, they intend to hide information from you. Hide their true feelings. Hide their true intentions. Hide what they really want from the situation. Hide, you know their true self, really, you know? How do you get close to someone that's not tr truly showing you their true self? You're falling in love with a mask and eventually the mask slips off and you're left with what is really underneath that and it's not the person you originally fell in love with. Let that sink in. You know, we all wear a mask to everybody and we come in contact with. <laughs> like people who work in customer service, they have that customer service mask, you know, how they speak to customers versus how they speak to their friends. You know, you're not gonna go, hi Joe, how, how, how are you today? Find everything you need to your freaking best friend. You know, that's your customer service voice. But with Joe, who's your friend, you're like, hey Joe, what's up? Did you, uh, you know, miss the bus this morning? Did you sleep in? idiot you know you're gonna be more relaxed and chill with your friend joe versus you know a customer um it's that sort of situation you're not really seeing the true person you're showing showing what you want to show what is more like acceptable you know so it's showing me that this person felt like they needed to wear a mask with you because maybe you wouldn't like the real them because the real them has been hurt many many times and they're Assuming that there's something wrong with them for why they keep getting hurt. So now they're trying to be someone different than, the, than they are and it's not helping them. Because everyone, you know, everyone's been through stuff, you know, as long as you stay true to yourself, you eventually find the people that love you for who you are and want to respect you and be there for you. And this person is hiding their, their self because of, you know, Feeling like they're not good enough when they are themselves. Oh man, this person is not going to get me to cry. Nope, 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 not happening. Um, so this person is very guarded. Very guarded. So that's what they're hiding from you, Virgo, and why? Wait a minute, that didn't make sense. Rewind. So if you wanted to know what they were hiding from you, that's why. Um, what a bunch of word salad. Someone's messing with my communication. Okay, so um, I do have the lover's card here and I'm still looking at their intentions. So there is a very important decision that needs to be made here. I feel like I have a Virgo that in May, you're gonna start noticing someone's mask slipping off and it's gonna leave you feeling like, what else are you hiding from me? You started off one way and now you're totally different what else am I going to find out about you? You know, natural born investigator, Virgo. If I ever want to find out something about someone, I'm going to call my Virgo besties. <laughs> I also have a Virgo Mercury, so I do that good on my own. So let's take a look at the Ten of Wands and the challenge position, Virgo. It looks to me like there's a phone call or a text that may be stressing somebody out. I got somebody here wanting to be flirty with you, but you may feel like you need to block their number, ignore their calls, ignore their texts, because you're questioning their validity in your life. You know, they're wanting to be flirty. Um, I feel like the more I'm digging into this reading, Virgo, I'm not feeling like you guys are in no contact. I feel like in May you're contemplating going no contact is what I'm getting. I mean, the first first story could be for a Virgo out there where you are in no contact with this person because someone's mask already came off and this is just you seeing it all play out in a reading, um, something you've already been through. 
okay? Remember, my readings are timeless. And depending on your deacon, um, you could be ahead of other Virgos. But for the other Virgos, I feel like in May, you're gonna be tempted to hit delete on someone's phone number and block them entirely because you don't wanna feel like this anymore, Virgo. Eight of Swords is a crappy place to be. That's where you're questioning everyone's move. You, want, you don't wanna have to feel like you can't trust someone that you're, you're connecting with. You don't wanna feel like everything that they're saying is BS just to make a good impression on you, you know? For some of you Virgos, this may even pertain to someone who's just a friend of yours right now. All right, let's take a look at the Ten of Wands. You're even getting a family member. Why the Ten of Wands for the challenge for Virgo in May? The challenge here is someone doesn't want to deal with all these burdens. The Hanged Man and the Fool and the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is you. I have a Virgo that in May, you're trying to think to yourself, do I want to give to this? Do I want to carry the burdens of this relationship? I need to look at this person's point of view here with that Hanged Man. Um, I, I want a new beginning for myself. Do I want this person to be a part of this new beginning? It's like, you're, you're really contemplating what to do here, Virgo. You don't want to get stuck any further. You hate being stuck. You're very productive. Virgos are highly, highly productive. You know, you're very multitasking. Okay, so anyone that's keeping you, you know, distracted from your day-to-day -day job, your day-to-day -day responsibilities, is someone that you don't want in your life. But you don't want to be impulsive because what if you find out that this person did not do this to hurt you but did it and ended up hurting themselves and that could be why temperance is in the advice position for you to slow your roll until you get more information now if your heart and intuition is saying badison no i'm not gonna freaking be patient this person is red flag central listen to your intuition not a reading okay never give your power away to tarot cards I'm just reading it how I read it and what the cards tell me and, you know, don't let a reading define your decision, okay? I'm going to clarify their behavior towards you. We got the chariot. Could be a Cancerian, could be someone at a distance, could be someone that travels a lot for work. Um, why the chariot? Four of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups in the Queen of Wands. So this is someone that wants to seize an opportunity with you, does not want a missed opportunity because they are confirming that they do feel like you are a soulmate of theirs and they don't want to screw something up. They're coming in with more confidence in the situation. Uh, yeah, I'm strongly getting that you met this person and they were like, hi Virgo, my name is blah, 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 um, and put on this persona of someone very playful, confident, you know, looking for a commitment, looking for love, one of the same things as you might even act like a chameleon in regards to your hobbies. Like, oh, Virgo, you like to ride horses? I do too. Virgo, you like to watch reality TV? So do I. When they don't. They don't care about horses. They don't care about TV. They, they just said it because they thought it would win you over. And now in May, you're like, wow, is everything you said to me a lie? Do you, do you even, is that even your name? All right, it's like someone didn't feel like they would win you over by being themselves. A lot of deep insecurities here. Now, cross watcher, if that doesn't sound like you, then this is not your reading. Um, or roles can be reversed. Clarify that page of pentacles. Judgment and the page of wands and the um, high priestess. Now, the page of wands is their feeling. So I do feel like an incoming text message, incoming phone call is going to be heading your way. I already see it right here. And I got a Virgo that's receiving this phone call, FaceTime, text message, email, whatever. And you're going to see your phone go off and you're going to be like, what do I do? Do I answer their call? Do I reply to that text? Or do I block them? I can't let this person distract me from my responsibilities anymore. They're renting too much space in my mind. You know, you want to pull out your hair, you know, and time is ticking with that clock right there. So your advice is to use your intuition when this happens and really follow your judgment. Okay. Judgment is all about reviewing the past and making a clear decision with what you do know versus making a decision based off of what you don't really know. 
all right? And the high priestess is our intuition. Our intuition talks to us first before our mind, our brain starts to rationalize things. So the first millisecond you get a thought, it's your intuition. So if you see your phone ring and your initial response is, oh yes, let me answer it. That's your intuition saying, yes, go for it, answer it. But if your initial response is, yes, go answer it. And as you're reaching for your phone, all of a sudden you're like, but what if? But what if? And you're like thinking about all the things that could go wrong while that phone is ringing. That's your, that's your head like distorting what your intuition just told you. Now, if the phone rings and your first response is no, that's your intuition saying block this person from reaching out to you. But then while you're reaching to block that number, your mind starts saying, but what if? What if they're nice? What if they, they just they need someone to have patience for them and compassion for them? And you're talking yourself into believing that what you thought was not what you thought and gaslighting yourself, okay? That is you needing to use your judgment and your intuition. So spirit is not saying to slow your roll so that you give this person a chance to screw you over. No, they're saying make your decisions while using your intuition and judgment, okay? They're not wanting to tell you what to do. They're wanting you to tell yourself what to do, but to trust what you're getting as far as downloads from your higher self, because your higher self is always talking to you. You're the hermit card. You're the hermit card, you know? The call is coming from inside the house before you even answer the 3D call, you know? So let's clarify your advice because you definitely have someone reaching out to you this month, whether it's a lover, a friend, a family member, someone that just is not being honest with you and you're picking up on that. And this month you have a very important decision to make. You're having a huge realization on the situation. Why is Virgo's advice the temperance card? Wow, May is gonna be a very big month for everybody it feels like. Your advice is the, hold on, my cat is scratching at me, stop it. I got a kitten. Um, your advice is to be patient and look, three wands is also about patience too. All right, so that came out as a clarifier. Be patient before you make a choice that involves your heart, okay? So your advice is be patient and spirits double downing on the fact that they want you to be patient with the three wands coming out as a clarifier. Hold your own seven wands, maintain your boundaries, don't let anyone walk all over you, and make a choice from your heart after your intuition already tells you what's the best thing to do. Listen to your heart, mind, body, and soul. So let's clarify the two of cups. Now for those of you who are already in no contact or in situations that are a bit complicated, I will pull your person's hidden feelings for you in a minute. Um, also, every weekend I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings For You spread where I show you my face, I interact with you live on camera. Um, so every weekend, yeah, hope to see you for the All Signs reading. I will link in the description box below this video, the most recent one I did, which dives into your person's feelings for you for the next seven days. Just click on the Virgo timestamp because that is a three hour video and you don't want to sit through three hours. Just look for the timestamp so you can just listen to your own piece. And you can do your sun moon rising if you want. Why the two cups? The world card and the wheel of fortune. So they're showing me that you and another person are going through a major lesson. All right, Leo got this too and also Cancer. Um, who else? No, Taurus and Gemini got it too. Everyone's been getting it. You're going through a major lesson with this person in May. Something is changing in order to change your life trajectory with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're going through a level up. Um, by listening to your intuition and listening to your internal guidance and following through with whatever this is, it's going to help level you up. So if you stay true to yourself and maintain strong integrity, you're gonna get a reward for it. Spirit always rewards us when we do the right thing and we lead with integrity and we put our needs first. Okay? That's what I'm getting anyways, but only take what resonates. Never give your power away to tarot cards. Uh, for zodiac signs that came through this reading, Virgo, I have um, Taurus here, I have Libra, I have Aries, I have Pisces, I have Cancerian energy, I have Sagittarius. Uh, Leo, I think, is here. Um... Scorpio, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? 
please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Virgo. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of this video. What the heck, really? Come on. The card doesn't want to come out. There we go. <laughs> really? Trying to withhold from me, buddy? Come on. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you've moved on. Ooh, that seems so final. Is it focusing? I couldn't go against my family to be with you. For some that were in a third party situation, someone decided to stay with their family. Whether father of their kids, mother of their kids, I don't know. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. All right, Virgo, that's for you. Just smile into your cheeks, her. I'll check back with you in a few days for your weekly update. Um, so yeah, I hope this reading helps. All right, take care of yourself. Namaste.